third day hair when I don't I get the whole squad in here. <laughs> so today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I style my hair. If I don't want to wear up in a messy bun, how I style it when I'm on second and third, fourth day hair, fifth day hair. However many days I've gone without washing my hair, I'm going to show you how I style it when I want to wear it down. So, if you guys want to see how I do a messy bun, let me know in the comments. It takes me less than two minutes. I can do a video on it if you want. Um, it's really simple, but I don't know if you guys really want to see it. So, let me know in the comments if you do. So, right now, I'm just going to take my hair down. And don't mind this, I was leaning on my desk right here and it made indents in my arm which is always fun. All my dogs are in here today. I'm sorry if they start chewing on their bones but dog life. Okay I also did film a tutorial on this look, the eye look. It's a first impression. If I've already put it up I'll link it down below. If not it should be the next video up. So this is about what, what day am I on? I went to the Braves game Saturday. Today's Monday. This is third day hair. It's just sometimes my curls get a little bit nasty, it, the hair kind of all flows together throughout the day. So I'm going to show you guys how I style it with extensions so it doesn't like all clean together and look really gross. It's actually pretty simple to do. This is just what my routine is. So maybe you could take something from this and put it into your routine. The first thing you're going to want to do is use a dry shampoo. I've always used Batiste dry shampoo. I love it. Um, I love the deep dark brunette. I'm almost out of this one though. Like it barely... It barely sprays dark, so I'm actually using the medium and brunette a hint of color. So this one's actually really great. I like both of these. I'm kind of feeling this one a little bit more just because I feel like this one gets a little bit everywhere on my hands and stuff, but this one's not as noticeable. So I really like it. My hair is pretty dark and you can't tell when I put this in, or you can't tell, you know, when I brush it out or whatever. So you just want to kind of section off your hair. I do it where I'm the most oily, which is always here and right here at the back, like at the very top, I guess it's the crown of the head. That's where I'm usually the most oily. Now, I don't wash my hair every single day. I think that's a big factor of my hair being super healthy and strong. Washing it every day is just not good for it. That's why I'm showing you guys this routine, so hopefully you can find different techniques and stuff to do so you don't have to wash it. And your hair will just get a lot more healthier. I dyed my hair one, two, three, four, five times this month, and my hair is honestly not that bad. Um, it is a little bit more dry. But it's not as bad as it could be. Like, it's not broken off completely up at the top or anything. So, you know, I think it's due to having a really amazing hairstylist and also taking good care of my hair. Once you spray it in, you want to let it sit there and do its, you know, its magic and soak up the oil and things like that. And I've already got my curling iron on. Ooh, I almost hit my face with it. I have my curling iron on. I like to use the biggest one from Numi. This is the 32 millimeter. We'll be using extensions, and I'm using the Foxy Locks extensions, which are my favorite. All I use is three wefts. I have a two clip weft, a three clip weft. Ooh, about dropped that one. And a four clip weft. These are what I use. I use darkest brown, and as you can see, they match pretty dang perfectly. So I love them. These are the 24. 280 grams, I think. Okay, so like you can see on this one, this is a three clip weft, and like you can't even see me. Like, hello. Um, but this, ooh, ooh, this is what the wefts look like. They're a really thick band, but I like that because there is so much hair on this. They all really stay put on the band, and it doesn't like shed like a crazy person. Um, I've had these for like since January, and they still look amazing. And I've put a lot of heat on these bad boys. So I just love it. It looks like real hair. It feels like real hair. People wouldn't know you had these in your hair. Hair, hair, hair. <laughs> people wouldn't know that you had these in unless you told them. Um, but I love them. Some people don't like the thicker bands. But with this much hair, you want a nice thick band to really hold all of this hair in place. And the clips are really nice too. They snap really well. And they stay put. Because I do have pretty silky hair, I would say. It's not like a lot of texture at the root. So these do stay put really well though. Um, so yeah, I'm using three wefts. I forget how many come in the set. Let me just show you guys how much hair I have. Like, I have so much hair from them. Like, I mean, I, if I put all this in my head, I would be like a Lily Galici on steroids. And I know they're not put in it now, but I usually keep them in this, which is like a little hanger thing. And it's really nice. I just, I love Foxy Locks. I used to use a different brand. And then this year, I decided I wanted to try new brands and just different things because I feel like if everybody uses one brand it just gets a little bit you know repetitive so I absolutely love Foxy Locks though I just went on a limb and tried them I purchased my first set 
loved it and then I started working with them which I just I just I love the brand I think they're amazing I wouldn't recommend them if I didn't think they were amazing the last set I used or last brand that I used was the only brand I had ever used ever it was my first brand so this is the second brand I've used and by far this one is my favorite so all you're going to want to do is I've put my hair in two sections and you're just going to want to brush everything out. The dry shampoo and all of that. So I'm going to do that now. It's the most painful part because my hair gets so tangly. And for those that say that they can't have their hair going a few days without washing it because it's like super greasy so you wash it every single day. Keep in mind you have to train your hair to really stop producing so much oil. My hair used to be so greasy after the first day and I would have to wash it. I was one of those people too. I washed my hair every single day. So when I first started, I would wash my hair every other day. And then when I got comfortable with that, I would do every two days and then every three days. And now it's like I can go almost a week without washing my hair, which is insane. I would have never expected my hair to be able to do this, what, three or four years ago. Um, so it's just about all about training it. But once you do it, it really helps your hair so much. I'm probably talking a lot, but I just want to kind of give some tips while you're watching this because I feel like that's important. Brush up, brush up, brush So now that we've brushed it out, we're going to go ahead and section our hair. I'm going to do my first section here right above my ears. So just take this up. So basically I'm showing you how I put in extensions and showing you how I like curl it and style it for second, third day hair. Oh yeah, that's attractive. Kind of look like it. And then I'm going to take the three clip left. And just run my brush through it make sure there's absolutely no tangles in it. And then you're just going to want to open up all the clips. So you're going to put one clip there and clip the rest in. And you're just going to take this down and section off another one right above that. Not too far up, but just a little bit. This is kind of great for every day too if you need extensions for every day. Um, because it's like not a ton of wefts so it's not like it's really weighing you down or anything like that so now we're going to go ahead and take this four clip left and put this in our hair all the clips are on them yep. so you just want to take it like that and then just let the rest of your hair down. I did cut like an inch or two off of mine just because they were they're so long. Um, so just keep that in mind when you get these. You can cut them or go to a stylist and get them to cut them as well. Now usually I always curl my hair. Like I curl my hair almost every single day. And I, that's just what I like. So that's what you see here is just the leftover curls. And that's why most of my extensions have like a wave to them because I always curl my hair. So... We're just going to touch up the curls a little bit just to make it more volumized and make it look just more put together. So you can see how long these are. My natural hair stops right, right here so it gives me like an extra inch or two and they were longer than that. They were like down to my hips. I'm going to section this side of my head because this side is thinner than this one obviously because I put more hair on this side because of my part. So I'm just going to take a two clip left and clip it, clipped it <laughs> and clip it right in here. So I don't even feel like I have to tease my hair for these to stay in, but if you feel like you're having a hard time and they're slipping, just back comb a little bit at the root and you'll be good. So you can see now that they're pretty much evened out. I, could, I mean, honestly, I could leave it like this. That's one thing I love about these is they hold the wave really well. I could just leave it like this, but I'm going to go in and just do a little bit of curls and kind of touch them up. So I'm going to take my trusty iron. And then we're just going to take whatever strands you feel like need some curl. And I like to do alternating curls, so I do some away from my face and some towards my face just so it really adds more volume. The main reason why I add extensions is my hair will clean together and it looks like an oily mess. Even if I do alternating curls, it just doesn't look as voluminous and pretty after a few days. So that's why I add extensions, just to really add some volume back in there and to make it look like I just washed it. Because it just it looks so much better when I do this and I love how long and how full it makes my hair I have a lot of hair as it is but um, these really give me some volume and I'm like I'm obsessed with it and these just these hold a curl for a while like I haven't curled these extensions in like two months I'd say 
until now. They have a nice wave to them. So it's kind of just like a really easy, basic, you know, routine. But I figured I'd show you guys because a lot of you have been asking me how I put in my extensions, you know, what I do for my hair on second and third day hair. And this is normally what I go to because when I put my hair up, um, sometimes it breaks off my hair just because sometimes I pull it back too tight. That's why I have like hairs growing back in the front of my head because I kind of pulled some of them out. So I like to leave my hair down most of the time and this is just the routine that I enjoy doing. This is one side done. I'm going to quit curling this side. Once you put some product in it like texturizing spray it'll just look really voluminous and kind of beachy. So I'm going to go ahead and touch up some curls on this side and I'll be back to show you what I do at the very end. And then this is just what it looks like. It doesn't even look like you have second or third day hair. It looks freshly washed and I feel like adding extensions in just really help make it look more put together. It doesn't look like you know you're going on second third day hair because you just added fresh hair into your real hair. <laughs> so to finish off this look, I'm just going to take a little bit of hairspray. Hairspray is like very needed for second, third day hair. So we're just going to lightly spray it. I don't like a lot of hairspray, but I like a little bit just to hold it all. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to like it if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll have a link in the description box and also at the end of the video. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye. Halfway to the place. And we're about to get on like another highway just to get there. We had like 20 miles le left. Luckily, we only live like... like Oh, I can't talk. Luckily, I only live like an hour away, but um, somebody forgot her driver's license. So we had to turn all the way back around, come back. Look at her. Make that walk of shame, Shay.